I always seem to time that perfectly with the Welcome to Summer's Rift. But everyone, welcome to ESL TV for the Black Monster Cup. We'll get to everything in just a second here because Mblibic is going to face check in his bush and he is going to be first blooded very damn quickly right there. But as you can see, this is Group B now coming uh, coming your way today. Oh my gosh, I messed up the graphic. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's uh, let's take a second. Let's take a second to uh, back up. And uh, let's finish. Let, let's fix that because that is a terrible job on my part. I had a long weekend. If you guys actually weren't with us, I was casting the uh, North American playoffs, which took. Let's just say it was at 3 a.m. to 10 a.m. pretty much both days on the weekend for me. And it was it was not fun. But as you can see, we're going to have Mouse Sports over on the blue side. I'm not going to look at chat right now because it's probably just laughing and I, that's saying that people, I suck. And we have Invaders over on the red. And let's go over the lunch for both teams for you guys. We have Kuban, Condison, Take Fun, Mackler, and Libic on the side of Mouse Sports. Obviously, X meet your makers. And we have The Chosen One, I'm So Fresh, So's Perfect, Silver Carry, and Mouse AD here over on the side of Invaders. And... Let's see with that early first blood coming in for Silver Carry. Just gonna pick up a uh, maybe another half pot, maybe a uh, blue pot right there as well. And then Fresh is in fact gonna go for the invade here. Let's actually see what he leveled. He did go for his Q, so looks like he's gonna be maxing that first when he goes for these ganks. But we're gonna have a little bit of a lane swap coming. As you can see on the top side, we're gonna have Macklin Libic go up there in that two v one, and we're going to have obviously Kuban down here in the one v two against AOD and Silver Carry. But Condison, well, he will get his red buff stolen. No pings coming in just yet. I'm not sure if he's aware that it was taken away, but they should now because, as you can see on that bottom side, Kuban did spot them coming from that red bush side. And he's immediately backing away. Is he going to go for a push on the top side? He does have that teleport. And they haven't checked that bush still. <laughs> he's just sitting behind them completely. And it looks like Kondasan, well, he put a word on that red bush here and Looks like he will be able to take this one for free here, even though they didn't really see I'm so fresh coming in through the uh, bottom side. So we're going to have both junglers pick up two buffs, and we're actually going to have the red buff camp not cleared out by I'm so fresh, which will obviously affect how this game's going to go in a little bit. And my castle, yeah, I've been casting pretty much everything alone. But yes, I have absolute control. Uh, Rock Tark is right. I have full control of everything on this, except what games I choose. Apparently, I don't get to get to choose those for some reason. I'm not sure who's setting those up for me, but we can have a little talk. But as you can see on the top side, we're still having Connie's on. He's sticking around, and it looks like they're gonna go for a three-man push onto this turret. Libic, eh, take a hit there. Maybe save the Candyman a little bit, and they will look for that turret to be taken. Meantime, Kuban, same thing in the bottom lane. He is well, stealing away some jungle from so fresh, but he might regret that here. He's trying to hit his level two and. It's a fresh roll. He won't be able to chase him down, but it will at least be able to stall him just a little bit here. And this turret already very low on life. Let's check on the top one. That one will actually fall first on the side of Mouse Sports. And I remember one stat in particular in my head about Mouse Sports is that when they took the or when they were Mutual Makers, when they took the first turret, they would generally win the games. So that can obviously be a good, uh, good little thing if you're a fan of them. And we'll obviously have the bomb turret taken now, so it's one on one tied up there. And not much action from the junglers. It's kind of a little bit similar to the North American meta that I've been seeing over the entire weekend uh, with the playoffs. Just pretty much four three-man push turrets down. And right now, it looks like Mouse Sports, well, they're going to be able to get this top turret. It's down about half-life here, but the Chosen One's going to be coming in. They're running out of minion waves. And they will actually use a teleport. Oh my god, Kuban. A fantastic little play by him. Actually keeps that minion alive just so they can keep that wave coming in and make sure they don't run out of anything. And they can stick on this turret. Very smart use out of that. And they will pick up two turrets for free right there. They will obviously lose on that first one. But the real trick is now, if they can hold on to the second one on the bottom, they will have a fantastic start. Or will they actually even stop pushing this top side? I would imagine. That's something that they really should do here. Is Mackler cute? A little land. I'm so fresh. A little bit scared to go in for that little bit of a fight. And now Libic going to be swinging around towards middle. We'll be swept up by the ward here. That can perfectly get away. He obviously has flash. He always has a satchel charge as well. We'll walk straight into this. We'll make the dark bind, unfortunately. Ignite comes down. Libic going to be using the black shield. He should be able to survive this. If he does dodge a Q out of perfect, he will. And that will be Amsa Fresh coming in from the side, trying to help out. And obviously, unfortunately, won't be able to do that there. Q does land on a take fun, though. And you can see Kuwa in the bottom lane. Just trying to stall as long as he possibly can. Nice stun on a turret as well. Gets a couple of turret hits onto the enemy team. But they're still shoving this one down. And when you see Kondazan come down, it looks like he's going to end up helping out with this one as well as Libic and Macro just trying to fend off this push here. And they are just going to back away. So they do keep that bomb turret alive. 
So they keep that 2-1 to one advantage here, but it's only a 200 gold difference, and just take a little bit of a look at the CS currently, because there's a big difference between the 280 carries. And you can see 28-42 to 42 between Mackler and Silver Carry. That's actually not a good sign. Although everywhere else, it's pretty much dead even here, but we're going to see that BF Sword already picked up. And Mackler, as you can see, 1,300 gold. I don't really have any item completed just yet. I'm actually curious, is he going to go for that Blade of the Rune King build? It's been a long time since I've seen Kog'Maw. Or is he going to go into, like, early attacks with the Zeal or something like that? I would assume Blade of the Rune King. Gives that extra survivability that Kog'Maw can definitely use here. Not to mention the poke they're going to have with a Nidalee and a Kog'Maw. It's going to help out quite a bit when we get into these uh, sieging. And if you're kind of running... I mean, obviously you see a Nidalee and you think, alright, that's going to be a poke comp. I'm like, yeah, it's... It generally shows a sign it's going to be a poke comp because that's how AP Nidalees even work. But with the Kog'Maw added into that, it's going to make things a little bit more difficult for the side of invasion here. and Or sorry, invaders. And I, I'm really curious to see, though, is will they be able to maintain this lead? Because if you fall behind in a poke comp, you unfortunately stay behind. And it's really hard to kind of turn things around. You need to be the one sieging. You don't need to be the one who's defending against turrets here. And take fun. Well, he's getting pretty low here at Ignite. I'll come back up for perfect, so I'm doing a thing here, but Libic will flash over that wall. Looks like he should escape here, but now Mackler will pop the heal. We'll be able to get some speed up, and we'll be able to survive here. But you can see Silver Carry and Mao's a AOD really trying to strut their stuff here at the bottom line, really trying to push this pressure in. I see Mackler was finally able to get a little bit of CS, and that's 1,700 gold. So will have something built up here soon, and Kuban playing it very safe, sitting back in this tribe, but she's down well, 23 CS, as you can see. And we have 1,300 gold to spend for the chosen one here. And it looks like we will have Condesant went off to the side, trying to go in for maybe a counter gank here. And the chosen one actually going for the, uh, the tri well, we're in the tribus here, but we'll slice and dice. We'll still get cocooned up, though. And they will force them back here. And hopefully Kuban can get a lot of the CS, because he really needs it at this point. Even with him being harassed quite a bit here. We do see Macro, though, pick up a phage. Huh. So is he going for a Triforce build? That's interesting. Well, it looks like they're trying to proxy a little bit here. They're trying to potentially go for the dive. They have to be careful, though, because they have So is Perfect coming in from the side, as well as right now Take Fun coming in to try to pack him up here. But Cause gets caught out here. Ignite taking away. The ultimate going to come out of Ziggs. He will drop. Unfortunately, Take Fun will just be a little bit too late to join the party. And that will be finally two kills now in total coming in the side for Invaders. And you can see Take Fun trying as much as he possibly can to harass them away. They do have a ward at this blue buff here. And it actually might be a huge win for them if he can steal his way or take fun if he can last hit it here. They do have a word to spot him out. It looks like he's not. I don't know. He will be going for the last hit here, but will he land it? Fortunately, he will not. I'm so fresh. Does secure that one. And now Invader is able to get a strong lead here. This is this is the downside of having kind of a poke comp, kind of having an AP Nidalee, is that if you're the ones defending, you have a very hard time doing that. And take fun currently 62 to 66 CS, so a little bit behind the mid lane, but not too worrisome for him. I'm still really surprised to see surpri uh, surprised to see this phage picked up on Malka though. That's that's been really interesting. <laughs> so I'm I'm just checking out chat for every once in a while just to see what you guys are saying. All right, so looks like Malka will be going for that Triforce. This is going for like a frozen mallet, which. I don't really expect him to go for it. I mean, I think you... No, you do need a phage to go into Frozen Mallet still. It's been such a long time since I've seen the item even built. that I don't even remember what you take to you do it. But take fun. Well. <laughs> just running up there to scare the Chosen One. So he pops his Dominus. And he'll return back to mid lane. A little bit funny right there. But just to facilitate Kuban. Just to give him some sort of ch uh, time to last hit. Because as you can see, it's 5 to 7 at levels. And the Chosen One still hasn't even gone back to buy yet. He has 2,000 gold to spend. Things are going to get very deadly. And look how far he's pushed up, actually, because he has no turrets on the top lane. But he's trying to pull them towards that top side. He's trying to get the jungle to come up there and gank, because if that happens, I'm so fresh. He'll probably go for a take on that dragon. And let's see, we'll be sorted out by that nearly trap. And let's see what he has. Going into a Brutalizer for him. Actually, I don't know. It might not be a Brutalizer. He might still be going into the Spirit of the Elder Lizard with that. Just not going to that Spirit Stone early. He wants to make sure to always get some early damage. If you go for the Spirit Stone versus two Long Swords, you miss out on quite a bit of damage right there, and you lose some early game pressure. But right now, as you can see, Condesan forced to back away. Unfortunately, he wasn't even spotted by a ward right there, though. But it's his side of uh, Invader is not getting too aggressive here. 
But if you guys are just showing us, remember this is going to be like an OGN st uh, style format. We're going to be having them play a best of two. Winner will take six points. Loser, or sorry, if this height takes three apiece. And if no, or if you lose, <laughs> no one wins. If you lose, you get zero points. So obviously the two ice points from the groups will be able to escape into the playoffs. Right now we have SK Gaming Prime and Gamers 2, which is All Slots team, already made it through from Group A. Just waiting to see who makes it through from Group B this time. And I'm so fresh. Well, he will be coming down through that trouble. She was spotted by a ward here. And then we'll just back away. Connison will be against Red Buff, it seems. And he will be able to stick to this bottom side and maybe counter a little bit if he needs to. I don't believe he's spotted out by that ward. Nope, he is. And he will just back off. So even after that early bit of action, it's kind of slowed down a little bit here between both teams. Not a lot of fighting coming in, just a lot of farming. <clears throat> but speaking of farming, Silver Carry. Oh, he has a 36 lead. Or 30, yeah, 36 lead. 26 lead, if I can count, um, in the AD carry roll. Currently, you can see a perfect has a 10 CS lead. And top lane for the chosen one has about a 20 CS lead. And with Dragon being taken here, well, if it does get taken, this could be a major snowball for their side here. But now it's coming in from the side. They're trying to push them back here in the Dark Bonnie. Well, it won't land, but Unstop Perfect has to be careful. He will safeguard out. And that will mean that the Mouse Sword's coming in. A fantastic job by them. They will be able to secure themselves the dragon and turn things around just a little bit. Only down now, 200 gold. Be a little bit careful here. They might actually get taken down. But I'm so fresh. He just got too low. He couldn't really sit inside that pit for much longer. And I see that threat of Kuban with that teleport, which he actually didn't use. Always makes him more dangerous than just chosen one. And all I've ever seen, which is actually surprising me that the chosen one went for ignite, is teleport in the top lane. Is to get around the map as quick as possible. And well, we'll see how things work. But right now, Limit gonna get ignited up. Summoner heal gonna be used. And well, he will survive to fight another day here. So great job by uh, I see Macro to use that heal to keep them alive. But you can see the damage that ALD can do. You can see the damage that Silver Carry can do, and you can just see the pure dominance that they've been able to build up here on this bottom side. And right now, the Chosen One's still being super aggressive on this top side as Kuan just bouncing around. And yet they're not able to go for any ganks on top of them. Just a little bit too hard to do that here, but I'm stretched. We'll be up towards the top side. We will see Condison come down towards the bottom, and we're looking for the Cocoon or something, but he actually make it take it down. The Cocoon does land, and now uh, Condison getting very low. The Red Buff's going to take away. It's going to be enough. No, the heal comes in. He's going to survive here. Libic, he has Flash. Will he go in for it? No, nope, he will get slowed up, and he won't be able to do that here, but now Kuban getting dove under the turret. And oh, he has a nice little dash away. And yet neither one right there had a fantastic flash that might have saved his life here if he could dodge his Q. And he will. That should be it. No, but he's so fresh. He sacred sword, but then he gets stunned up by Kuban. And he's gonna survive. That right there was just masterful work of an Aurelia. Now here comes Take Fun from the side, trying to secure some kills. He does pick up one. Not sure if he's gonna get the second one here. Ooh, very close to. But a great play coming on Kuban right there. A fantastic escape. And I'm sure Wicked would be plenty proud of that one right here. As you've seen Livic pushed up so far, trying to harass them back, trying to allow them to take a free turret here on the bottom side. Looks like they will be able to. But Libic, well, I think he'll go down for his cause. Does pop the exhaust on a perfect. Should be able to survive a little bit right there. He still has flash. He will use it, but he will get taken down either way. And they won't pick up the bomb turret just yet, will they? Yep, there it is. They will secure it. And they will see perfect coming in. And it looks like he will not really be able to do too much. Connison, though, has to be a little bit careful. He will dodge the Q, but. And we're right into perfect. He gets slowed up, and he tries to flash away and gets taken down. So two deaths for a turret on that bottom side. Don't know if that's worth it. Well, at least they did pick up one kill on the top. <laughs> How is Ziggs doing some bronze plays there? Because he's the ultimate when he's exhausted? I guess I can kind of understand that, but... Either way, take fun. Oh, pretty well, 1-0-0, 117 CS. How's that on Thieves and Holy Grail not done? But we see the Bloodthirster not picked up for Silver Carry, and the Frost Queen's Claim picked up for AOD. So right now, that bottom lane is really starting to snowball for him. Now you can see the Chosen One going for a Brutalizer and a Giant's Belt. So going for a little bit of damage here, take fun. You gotta be careful, son. You might get ganked here. Nelly just a little bit too slippery right there. That snow bunny nearly has to get skin. Oh, I think I have it. I don't, I'm not sure. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't. But here it comes the three-man push. Actually, a five-man push onto Smell Turret here. Condescend, well, he won't be enough, but Libic will get over the wall. Well, unfortunately, not hit that Dark Binding. But we'll hold him off for a little bit here. Nice to see the rest. And now Sword's coming in from the base. They're going to send five up here in middle. And they're going to try to stop this push. So now it comes down to who has the better wave clear. 
And honestly, that is completely in favor of the side of Invaders. And we should be able to take down this turret here eventually if they want to keep pushing that. But Kubot, trying to chances just a little bit here. We're going to see Constant go over the wall to that Wraith Camp to potentially heal up just a little bit. And Wave Clear, honestly, is going to make things so damn difficult for the side of the Maus. They have basically none. Yeah, you have Kog'Maw's E, you have, you know, the, the W out of Libic, but that's... That's basically it. I mean, that really is. Unless you're going to spend all your mana on Kuban. But she doesn't even level up his uh, Q, his Blade Surge, I think it's called, to even clear at all anyways, so... So, I'm actually expecting the side of Invaders to take advantage of that a little bit later on, but it looks like things will calm down. And they both will just back away, but obviously dragging up at about a minute 40. And that's got to be where the next bit of action is coming. It has to be. Alright, take that. Oh, luckily, Connison was there to protect him. And you will just be able to back away from that one here, but <clears throat> I'll have to hit that 17 minute mark. Only 4 to 1 in kills in favor of invaders here. And we're seeing Kuban finally be able to fight back a little bit here. Well, the ultimate's gonna be pumped. He's gonna, looks like, try to run away here. And he will get sliced and diced upon. But he will pop the stun. Unfortunately, he had a little bit more health than uh, the chose one, so the stun didn't go through, but it did slow. And he's still able to back away, but he's getting a little bit more cocky. He's starting to build up a couple of items. I mean, he's only at 400 gold now, so that sheen is gonna take quite a while, but the chose one's. Obviously been able to really solidify this lead he's been built up in the top lane. <laughs> oh. The things said in chat really confuse me sometimes. They're completely off topic. Some uh, I, I still don't understand where Kipo came from. It's obviously a cat, but it's a cap a cat. I don't know. Anyways, Milter does fall. That is number two for invaders. They're currently still down one turret, though, and right now Kuban. Well, you escaped one gank, son, but I don't think you can do it twice. We'll see him ignite it up. He will dodge away for a little bit. Eat. Knight will be enough, though. I was, I was like, can he do it? That last tick, but I was like, no. Knight has at least one more tick on it. And he will get taken down, and this will even up turrets three to three now. And you can see we have almost a 2,000 gold lead now built up for the side of invaders. But Dragon has come up. And I'm so fresh. Well, unfortunately, he was on that top lane, and they might lose out on now. They're definitely going to lose out on it, as we do see Mac there picked that one up very quickly with the help of Connison. And he also has that Triforce completed now, so a little bit of a power spike for him, but in the meantime, even with that dragon being taken, Rest of is just going to push us top, so this is going to be a big mistake for Kuban. Okay, he does immediately flash back. The teleport was not up, but he's still sticking here. What is he doing? He's still off to the side. It's a two on four fight, and they're trying to kill someone. I'm so fresh, he might get taken down. He does fall, but take fun. Well, he'll get taken down here right after. Livic will come in from the side, potentially. And then we'll just back away. So, Kubon baiting his teammate in a little bit right there. They unfortunately do not protect the turret. But one thing they do, they do do, is allow Macro to push this bottom lane here. And, Get some free damage on that turn. I don't think he's able to take too much of it down, but we'll see. Now nope, Sigzalt's going to come in. That's going to be enough. Unfortunately, not really as much as he was expecting, but we do have that turret lead now in favor of the side of invaders, and they've really started to build up from here. We see both millionaires obviously with the Nisilar drawn, and the Athenes and Holy Grail. We see now though, Silver Carry has a Bloodthirster and a Sheen done. He's even getting close to having that Triforce completed, or at least his Phage and his Zeal. Uh, it's less than 50 gold, though, so it's going to be a little bit longer. Yeah, extraction, that's why I was laughing. <laughs> that's why I was laughing. Oh, Livic. Oh, Dark Penny won't land, but he's trying to protect that blue buff here. And it looks like he will be a little bit successful, or he will be successful in it. But look at the ward coverage we have coming out of the side, though, of invaders. Oh, wrong button. I'm not sure what kind of sound was just sitting there, but as you can see, they have a lot of control here on this top side. They really want to deny these blue buffs away. And I guess so take fun can't siege or honestly can't throw the spears as often. We do see only one sweeping lens picked up on the side of invaders. That's actually a little bit interesting to me. I, I've typically always seen when it comes to you're the ones being the aggressor, you're the one pushing to the other team that you get usually two to three. Um, one in that top lane or one for the top lane or one for the jungler, one for the support. But train things up a little bit, changing them up. But on the side of, obviously, Mouse Swords, we see two. Condescent has traded things over. Has that Spirit of the Ancient Golem picked up, as well as a Chain Vest, even Sword Boots behind that. 
And we see Mackler going for now. That Blade of the Rune King with that build draw to cut was completed, but he's still down CS. He's caught up quite a bit, though. If we think earlier on, he was down like 30 to 40. And now he's only about 13 behind. And the top on a Kuban, he's, he's been doing a good job. He's been catching back up here. That mid lane for Sos Perfect has been able to finally lengthen the lead just a little bit. Counting up about 30 CS. Triforce has been completed for Kuban, though. And that is a huge power spike for him. That actually makes it so he should be able to 1v1 to Chosen one here. Darkbind, unfortunately that won't connect either. And they won't be able to hold him off here, but at least they're buying some time for Makla. Keep farming up. Kogma is at hyper carry. If you guys have forgotten about him. Late game, he does some ridiculous damage, but right now, with his five-man push on his bottom turret, only three men there to defend it. I'm not sure if they can do it here. They don't have the wave click we said before. All it takes is one or two hits. Take fun, gonna come up from the backside, as well as Kuban. And they're looking for the hold. I'm trying to clear it as quickly as possible, but just like one more minion wave to hit the turret. We'll finish it off here. And the poke coming in from Ziggs, the poke coming from Karma. Even Lee Sin in there is making things so damn annoying. For the side of Mouse. But as they can see in the top lane, they're pinging it. Top lane is pushing through. So they have something in their favor. As long as they can hold on here. And you can see the spear is just not really doing anything. As this was perfect. Got hit for absolutely nothing right there. He has 82 magic so nothing really scoff at here. But now. King's coming into that bomb turret on a mouse force. It looks like they maybe want to push in here. And you're going to see that the Chosen One did go back. He's going to defend onto this top turret. And it really won't even take that much anyways. We do see Mouse. Now it looks like they want to go in. Cocoon is going to land on AOD. Dark Body is going to catch as well. AOD is going to get taken on. He has Flash. It doesn't matter. Take from picks up the kill. Dragon up in about two minutes though. So what will they go for out of Capwise off this? And with Ping's coming down the middle turret, it looks like that's where they want to go. And let's see how healthy it is currently. Uh, just below the half-life. Now it's fresh trying to clear out the wave as fast as he possibly can. It won't really matter. You have Macro coming in. You have Take Fun coming in. And that turret should be falling here in just a second. As well as, as, well as 2,300 gold to spend on Take Fun. So he'll have that death cap done. And he does go back. Top body lands on so fresh. The Cocoon's going to come in right after. And he does get over that wall. And that can, that's what one thing that can be so damn deadly about the side of Mouse Sports is if Cocoon lands or Dark Body lands. That's going to be a spear connecting, and that's going to be either the cocoon or the dark binding coming in from right behind that as well. You're going to get locked down for a while. Luckily, Farms so Fresh, he has that mobility here. Libic, pop the black shield. And get stunned up here. You can see the pressure is on Kuban, though. Look what he's doing. He will be spotted coming in from the south side here. He won't be, unfortunately, as sneaky as he really wants to be. Things to take from Libic, both trying to back away. And honestly, Take Fun really needs to. He needs to buy. He needs mana. But he just doesn't have the ability to. They need him there too much. And you can see the Death Cup is done for Sills Perfect, so his damage just got a major boost here. And we're going to see that reflected when he lands a couple of these Qs, even that ultimate. And right now, they're pushing onto the turret. Libic off the side. Not a lot of help. His ultimate comes in. Look at the damage it does to Libic. And the Chosen One flashing in. He will get Dark Binding up. But that's Kuban flashing as well. Mackler all caught off by himself here. Exhaust. He's going to get kicked out. But no one's even turning for him. He flashes and he escapes. What was that? That was some miscommunication coming in. He was kicked completely out here. And Take Fun looking to chase him down. Unfortunately, they won't be able to stop him from taking the turret. But that was a very missed kill opportunity coming in for the side of Invaders. Mackler was good as dead. But no one even turned to him. And look at this Kuban. He's teleporting ahead of him. He's going to look for a double kill. He has everything up. And he's going to pick up at least. No. Oh my god. It was a fresh. He jukes him. Kuban picks up nothing. Take one fails to jump over the wall. I'm so fresh. Can he escape from this? He's sitting on top of Ward. And he is trapped between a cougar and a pissed off woman. And he will Q. And oh my god. What was that? Holy. What? Oh my god, I cannot wait to see chat right now because that was ridiculous. I'm so fresh is a boss. We have to go back and watch that again. We have to see that again. All right, so he speeds up. Okay, we'll speed it up. So we do see, look how low they are. Kuban, sides go for I'm so fresh. Hops over the wall. He's like, all right, all right. I still got, I still have a lot to go here. I still have a lot of things to do. He's sitting on top of Ward. And look at this. Just look how beautiful this is. Look at that. So outplayed. Oh my god. Koo or not Kumon. I'm so fresh. You are a boss. And I know right now he is so happy with himself. That was ridiculous. Oh, jeez.
I, I just have no words after that. <laughs> I'm surprised she's to change his name to I'm so good. That was phenomenal play right there. That really was. Credit to him. Like that saved his life right there. And I wasted a teleport. And wasted quite a bit of things in. <laughs> Triforce now picked up for uh, Silver Carry. Death Cap finally done for take fun here. And <laughs> well, meanwhile, yeah, Dragon was done, but that was way more important. It's not fresh still. Just kiting away. But that was that was insect level plays right there. <clears throat> I wouldn't say that was kind of Kuban's fault for going over the wall when he didn't need to. Like he could just stay on the other side and Nilly could have caught up to him. But either way, we just see AD getting locked up here. We're gonna ultimate gonna come in. Fortunately, the spirit won't land in right behind that. But Kuban, well, he will. And I'll pick up one kill here. Will he pick up any more? Libic, he's gonna survive. Another dark body come in, but now here comes the chosen one looking for some kills. Libic able to escape here, but will Condescend be able to do so? He will flash over the wall. We'll delay them just a little bit. And they will pick up a free kill right there and be able to back away off of that. And in the meantime, Mackler pushing the bottom lane, gets on the turret, 5-5 five five tied up right there. No one's there to really defend against us just yet. He's going to have to back away though in just a few seconds as we see Ziggs coming in with Home Guard Boots. I'm so fresh, coming for the side. And now Mackler, can he pull Jukes off that we saw I'm so fresh do? He's going to walk right into him. He will get hit with the Q. They both have red buff. He'll get slowed up as well, trying to kite him over his own. So, and he's turning around the damage. A couple more hits and that would be, he kills him with the ultimate. It refreshes his blue buff, and he isn't afraid. He picks up the kill in a 1v2 situation. And now they're looking to push onto this mil or this bomb turret as much as they possibly can. So perfect, gets hit by quite a bit of damage. He could potentially go down right here if they hit one more spear, and it will come in. They won't connect. Mackler now out of mana. And he'll be forced to back away, but they still can push onto the turret. If they want to the spear, it's going to connect. And take fun picks up the kill against perfect. And that certainly should have opened up this bottom inhibitor turn. But look at this. Now we have Silver Carry coming in from the backside. He's looking for a kill or two here. And he could potentially have it. I think he's not going to survive this, though. He could go down for this one. Take one to charge straight into Mackler. He will, but it come around just for a little bit. They will pick up the kill either way. And that will be a one for one trade as well as now. I'm so fresh looking for revenge. Coming in. Gets hit with the spirit. Take fun. Has a rebuff to, uh, to kite him. And he will just back away. Take fun. We'll get the inhibitor turret down. Will he be able to pick up the kill as well? Guys first kicks him away. He will have his Q up here in just a few seconds. Take fun. Spear will come in. It won't connect. A lot of action breaking out out of nowhere. And it looks like the side of Mouse Force just got pissed off. And I'm so fresh escaping. And I finally just gone back into this game. Like, you know what? We're not going to let you win this first one. Like I said before, it's a best of two. It's OGN style format. Winner of the best of two gets six points. If it's a tie, you get three apiece. And if you lose, you get zero. So... You need to get every single point you possibly can. And over on the other side of the brackets, uh, HT team actually did forfeit their first game against uh, Tick Trick Duck. I believe it is, is the last part of their name. Because um, they had a interview with the TV station. So they gave that first one up. So that should be TTD with the lead with six points. But they'll be back for the second game, which we will be going into, I believe, right after this. Voice stuff now done for Take Fun. He's 5 1 and 1 in Italy. And he's really started to excel here. It's taken him a little bit of time, but they're finally making it work. And Baron, it's becoming more and more of a likely possibility right now for the side of Mouse Sports. They have a bottom inhibitor open, though. And Kuban has teleport. He's going to shove down bottom. They might try to bait him out of their base with this Baron. Allow Kuban to teleport in if he needs to, or just continue to push that, to, uh, that bottom side. And this is a situation that Mouse Sports, they've, they've been in time and time again back in the summer split of LCS, but this is where they struggled. The thing was, they didn't have full control of the game. They could, they had a hard time finishing games. And right now, obviously with the new jungle, with Makade being out, with Charu being out. And this Kondasan is Makade, which I, I don't think he is from what I've seen so far. Um, and then, they have to look to turn around their streak here and... Let's see what happens. Kuban, random one's omen, Triforce done. I'm pretty sure the Chosen One can't beat him 1v1 here anymore. So we'll see the damage turned on, and you see him just back it away. And then the damage that Kuban's able to do. Even to force him back here, and that middle or that bottom hitter should be open for him if he does want it. And the thing is, the Chosen One, he's going to stick around here, but he doesn't have Teleport. If Baron is started, which it looks like it is, and it's already very low on life, he's not going to do anything about it here. So we're going to see Baron taken here in just a few seconds. Unless they can potentially steal it away. I'm um, so fresh. He has the order over the wall. He has no health, though. Who will get it? Kogma trying to pick it up. He goes in. He will not pick it up. That is Kogma picking that one. And they will secure themselves the Baron. They will secure the push as well. And we'll see I'm so fresh get taken down here. But Livic in very low life. He has to be careful. The flash comes in for perfect. And Livic, oh, he's going to survive for a little bit longer. And he will escape this one now. Let's check in with Kuban as he's pushing to chose one here. Random one's on one pop. Pop seal to as well. He's going to chase straight after him here. And a couple more hits would be it. But 
Just going to get him back under his own fountain here. And we'll actually pick up Hongar Boots. And he doesn't have the uh, money to do it here. And this will be now the first inhibitor of the game going down at 31 minutes in. And Kuban might, might even be able to pick up more here. Magma did get a kill, though, onto uh, Silver Carry here. As Kuban going ahead, it's perfect. He will pick up the kill. Will he survive, though? He will flash. He will escape. And that is two quick quick, uh, quick kills coming in. Uh, bottom inhibitor being taken. The top inhibitor turret will be falling here in just a few seconds. And not to mention, maybe that top inhibitor as well here. As long as Fresh, he's trying to make something happen. He can get an amazing kick in right now if he has the damage for it. He's coming from the side. He's looking for the angle. He will land the Q, but it won't give him the angle he wants. And it looks like they will be able to back away from this one. They're trying to still chase him down, but they don't have teleport. They don't have anything to get there. The mouse is just a little bit too quick for them. And they will back away now with uh, two inhibitors taken. Half of that Baron. All right, so. Could talk about CS, but it doesn't matter anymore, as we can see. Almost a 10,000 gold lead for the side of Mouse Sports. Currently having around this 8k mark. Even close to 9 at this point. But 2 1 1 for Kubon, 5 1 3 for Take Fun, 2 1 4 for Mackler, who now has the Blade of the Ring King done, the Last Whisper done. And another BF Sword behind that. Not going for really attack speed here, but he will be going in for his uh, Infinity Edge in just a few seconds, I would imagine. I'm not going to assume that's going to be a Bloodthirster here, but Dragon back up. And it will be taken here on the side of Mouse Sports. Alright, so if you're in this situation as invaders, what do you do to get back in this one? And <coughs> Excuse me. They need to get a couple of advantageous fights here. They need to catch them out when they're in their own side of the jungle. And maybe pick them off one by one. The thing is, with the top inhibitor being down, the bottom one down as well, they need to shove the lanes out. And Kuban, well, he's not going to I'm so fresh to get away this time as he does charge into him. But he immediately is forced to back away as Silver Carry and So is Perfect comes in on both sides. And now he's going to get slowed up a little bit. They're looking for that middle turret, and they will have it. I'll be 8-5 to five now, and they're going to look for this middle inhibitor. They have all the time in their world to push this one down. With two, both inhibitors gone, as Superman's flooding from the top and the bottom, and it looks like they don't even need time. There's no straight forward here, and they already have it down to about a third life, and they're not done just yet. Mackler doing some really good damage to it. And look at this. The slows, the kiting potential, the, the bindings, the cocoons, the spears, the ultimates out of Kog'Maw. I don't remember the name. Living Artillery. It is just too much poke, and they look realize we need to go in. To chose one pops the ultimate. We'll get Dark Binding up, though. Cocoon as well. And they'll just turn this right on top of him. Mako did get flashed on by the chosen one, but I'm pretty sure he can win this fight hands down. Take Fun picks up the kill. Now it goes 6, 1, and 3. And this Mill Inhibitor turret will be falling here in just a few seconds. Kuban trying to force him out. 1v4. And he will be able to do it for a little bit. Locks down Silver K with the Dark Binding. And that will be him going down. And that will be now. Well, Men and are not taken down, but they don't, it doesn't matter. If they have the Super Dunes there. They're going to take down the first Nectar like, turret and the second one. And this will be Mouse Sports picking up the first game here in this best of two. Fantastic play out of them. Amazing. I'm so hoping for Poppy to make an appearance in the summer split. Angel, you shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. How dare you say something like that? All right, but right now, we're going to go to a quick little break here. But when we come back, guys, we'll have game two between Mouse Sports and... And obviously, Invaders come up in just a few minutes. Stick with us and enjoy the music.